While Baltimore County police investigate hundreds of sexual assault cases, but how the process is handled from interviews to the investigation to dealing with the evidence deserves a new look, according to County Executive Johnny Osheski. Our residents deserve to know that when they're the victims of sexual assault, that our law enforcement agency and all that we have provide will respond with all the resources at our disposal to bring justice. Monday, Osheski announced the launch of the Sexual Assault Investigations Task Force that will, among other things, examine current investigative practices and review past case files, review training for law enforcement involved in assault cases, and test old and new rape kits, making adjustments as necessary. Recently, the county executive stopped confidential release authorizations, a practice where law enforcement prompts sexual assault victims to waive their rights to an investigation. Osheski referenced a recent report saying Baltimore County Police engaged in the practice more than 150 times over the past two years. Having Baltimore County lead in the use of the waivers is not something that we should be proud of. Cheryl Goldstein will serve as the chair of the task force and says it will include a victim-centered approach that will hopefully encourage more victims to come forward. The sexual assaults go unreported because some people, some victims just do not report because they feel ashamed or embarrassed or that it is somehow their fault. For me, I'd like to see a rise in reporting. We know we only scratch the surface with the number of victims that come forward, so I'd like them to trust us with their case. And so the county has also partnered with the Rape Crisis Center called Turnaround to promote the helpline available to, vi to help victims 24 hours a day. That number is there on your screen. It's 443-279-0379. Reporting live in Towson tonight, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News. <laughs>